poppin', guys? We're here back again from last week. <laughs> we are going to check out some really cool stuff that I found out on Dribble, and we're gonna go ahead and try to recreate that stuff in Adobe XD. How to begin with this ball sort of thing. All right, let's figure it out. So this is the beginning screen, bone, ball, wool. It's these three, but then we can click it, and this is the transition, and then when we click into ball, First off, let me see if I have any fonts that kind of fit. We're gonna start to select this bone really quick. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, and we're gonna fix it up so we can use it as an asset. All right, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna go to my stamps. I'm like, can I just, very quickly just do this like this this is not my job this is why i buy assets i'm not a graphic designer look at look at how beautiful look look at that we need to bring our bone to the top for now we're gonna make this first off we need our little gradient in the back go here boom fill Linear, eye dropping these again. So boom, color fill, light at the top, dark on the bottom, and we're gonna pull these diagonally. Now what I'm kind of doing is I've basically duplicated um, our font here. I've put a stroke in front, I put a solid in the back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of take the same thing here, I'm gonna just duplicate it, holding Alt, P-O-Y, with capitalize. Yes, we're gonna get our store and about very easily by, again, duplicating this, we're gonna rotate it. Let's go get our downloads real quick. We're gonna open this up in a new window so that I can grab the tennis ball and put it in the, the here we go. All right, so we're gonna get this tennis ball. We're gonna push this behind our words here. Now, because this is no longer a bone, we are gonna take this and type ball. And we are also going to do that for our text underneath. So let's see if we can find the yarn. Take this so it starts to scroll up and you know what actually we should have done we should have done one screen let me move all this out of the way what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screenshot this you guys know how I do I'm gonna keep it as accurate as possible um, and what's really nice is I'm not being super accurate at all Adobe XD is actually creating the, the guides for me to be like yo this is where you need to click <laughs> So I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna scroll in here, I'm gonna center this, so we don't need that. So I've made another version, just a stroke though. I'm gonna make it two. I'm gonna just copy that one more time. Now what we're gonna do with this one background, because we have a white background here, I'm gonna pull this up, just like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take this gradient and I'm gonna mask it with that shape. So this is a path. Let's see if we can fill it. We're gonna group that and we're gonna pull this down. What we do need is there is a transition, transitional background where we have these slices here. Mask here, we're gonna make it white, turn off the border, and we're gonna push this to the back here. We're gonna go to Unsplash. We're gonna see if we can get like a abstract pattern. Pull it kind of this way. Pull it down to this path here. I wonder if this will work. Mask with shape. So it kind of works with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this image and I'm going to bring it into Photoshop so we can edit. And I'm going to change it to a little bit of an orange. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to our mask. 
and I'm just gonna add like different marks here. Eh, it looks a little weird. I think maybe what we can do is we can copy paste, make another one, and we do, we're gonna flip it. We're gonna flip it here, flip it vertically. Hmm. Maybe we can rotate this a little bit more. We can pull this off to the side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add like a big splash kind of. There is some grunge too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new layer for my brush. I'm gonna expand this out, get a splatter brush. And then we're gonna open our folder. Here we go. And we're just gonna pull in our overlay and we can reduce the opacity. We can, we can play with this here. So I'm gonna push this behind everything. If we want the green to be on top, if we want these items, we have our ball here, we have our tennis balls, and then we have our path here. We can bring this up top. All right, so we're gonna do kind of the same thing that we did above, except now we have circles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm just gonna click up and down, just like this. I'm gonna make it white. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just double click to make these rounded. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna pull this in. I'm gonna try to mask it, let's see. Pull the rectangle underneath the path. Okay, so we need to grab this, what's we call it, this stuff up here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want all of this to be showing on top of our purple. So we're gonna take that there, push it down. And we are gonna flip this this way. I think I wanna copy this too, and I'm gonna bring this down this way. I'm gonna try to figure out, let's go back to our animation here and let's figure out. And I wonder we'll, if we'll be able to do this too, where if I can actually edit the gradient while we're animating, that would be interesting. I haven't tried that yet. I think this is gonna be the, the easier way to kind of trick this. So you got green here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this stuff um, and, okay, it's below the line already. So let me undo that. Uh, let me just make sure before I duplicate it, all this stuff is below the line. I'm gonna duplicate it this way, and I'm also gonna duplicate it the other way. This is where we kind of get into the easier stuff. Like once we have all the assets and the layout, things become much easier. All right, so the initial state, there will be nothing here. The bone will come from here. And animate in, shadow will appear. Um, let's see how it kind of like animates in. I don't think it does. I think it just starts there. The buttons, the menu, the about, and this button here. And we are going to, actually, I think we might want to group it. And we're going to put it at the bottom. All, right. All we're going to do is we're going to pull this up. And now as we pull it up, if we go back in here, we want to also animate how this goes out. So for instance, with our bone, we actually want, we want it to actually rotate. So we'll move this over here. This will go here, perfect. So we're gonna prototype this to here. We're gonna do an, a time trigger that's auto animate. And we're gonna do a snap animation and I believe one second is fine. All right, so that's the simple animation. The second piece is when we start coming in here after a certain period of time. After one second, it will scroll and some of the things will animate in. So for example, we have these, um, what's it call it? These sharp items here. So we want these actually to move up. Move the splatters around if we went, if we want. Prototype auto animate snap one second time and none of what I had attempted to do worked. It actually might be easier. All right, so we're gonna pull this off to the side here. Reason why the animation is not working, if you guys remember, we grouped literally everything. We're gonna unrotate it, zero. Other bones, unrotate it, zero. 
And this actually might work out a little bit better, to be honest with you. All right, so I have to duplicate this here. Because if we're gonna group everything, because it's gonna be a lot easier if we just have this to move up and down. I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna delete that shadow, put that on top, I'm gonna pull that up. Prototype, bow, boom. There we go. All right, now what we're gonna do so we're gonna make sure that this is like in the center. And these other things, like these other balls, we are going to duplicate them because they're, they're, we want them to be there, but we don't want them to be there yet. So we're gonna pull them down below this blue line here and we're gonna turn down the opacity. And just like what we did before, remember we turned the opacity down on our green store, we're gonna turn that on. And then finally when we're over here, whoops, we are gonna have our stuff moved up. We're almost there, guys. Whew. Take this store. We're gonna copy another one, but this time we're gonna take the purple. And we're gonna do that over here again. Purple. Or actually, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna take this purple, just so it's named the same. Pull this stuff up. All right. Now all we have to do is our shadows. So what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna prototype all of these things real quick. Instead of it going there, we're gonna pull it off. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna pull it right here. And we're also going to tighten up each one of these. Two, I'm gonna pull these down. There we go. I'm gonna duplicate this and let's see if we take these two rules, we undo the rotation of them. Zero, zero. I guess we need to duplicate the fourth one. Like one to two is good, two to three is good, but three to four is messed up and I think it's because I made some changes to this, which would explain why things got out of whack. I, I changed some of the shapes. Sometimes Adobe does not like to happen. Now that we kind of have that in the works, or that moving as we would expect, now I'm just gonna come in and grab some of these shapes and I'm gonna move them how I would like it's, it's been a it's been a long live stream <laughs> Got a store green Whoa. perfect all right guys so that's what we got all right guys I'm headed out I'll see you guys don't forget to subscribe like and I'll see you on the next one all right guys peace see you in the discord so you want to be one of the hottest creative designers in the world. You want to build your talent, your skills through hard work, and more importantly, surround yourself with a team of individuals who are striving towards greatness with you. And yet you sit there and you ask yourself internally, Brandon, does a place like this exist? And my answer to you would be, of course, mother that's exactly what we are doing in our Discord. We are the game changer. We are a group of designers, artists, creatives that want to take our skill sets, talents, and dreams to the next level. We come together to give feedback on each other's work, give resources, and laugh, a lot of it, <laughs> and help push each other to be our best selves. If you're interested in becoming the next best you and quite possibly yourself while chatting with many friends, join your new design family today. See you there.